the ball experiment. Suppose we have a fluorescent ball, we have a green ball, we have a pink ball, we have a white ball and we have an orange ball. We are going to take a bag okay, and we are going to put these balls inside the bag and we are going to close it. So now this bag contains five different balls. So what is the total number of outcome that we will get out of this experiment? Total number of outcomes are going to be five. You can try this at your own place. Okay, I'm going to take out one ball. Okay, and I don't know which ball it is going to be because I can't really see the color. Suppose I take out a ball and I get a fluorescent ball. So now I want to check the probability of getting this fluorescent ball. Like how many times will I get this fluorescent ball whenever I would put a hand inside and I would try to take out a ball. We can calculate that by a formula number of outcome favorable to fluorescent ball divided by total number of possible outcomes. So this would give me 1 divided by 5. 1 because there is only one ball, one fluorescent ball among these five balls. So the sum of the probabilities rule should satisfy this experiment. So now I said this has 1 by 5 probability, this will have 1 by 5 probability, this will have 1 by 5 probability, this will have 1 by 5 probability and even this will have 1 by 5 probability. So now if we are going to add all the probabilities 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 we are going to get probability equal to 1. So this satisfies the sum of probabilities rule and also 1 by 5 falls between 0 and 1. So it again satisfies all the rules. So the ball experiment is over. In a pack of cards we have 52 cards in a deck and that forms one pack or one deck. In that we have three face cards namely a king, a queen and a jack. These are the three face cards that we have and we have four suits and each suit is represented by a shape or a color. We have one suit called diamond and this is red in color. We have one suit clubs which is black in color. We have one suit called heart which is again red in color and we have one suit spades that is black in color. So the spades and the club is black in color and the heart and the diamond is red in color. There are four suits with three face cards and the other numbers are ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. All right. So this is how the number goes. Now suppose we have this deck of cards well shuffled. Okay, I am shuffling these cards because before it was arranged in a color wise manner. So I am shuffling these cards. We had 52 number of outcomes. Okay, from these 52 we want to take out one card. Okay, I am not looking at these cards and I take out any one card. Okay, any one. Suppose I have jack of spades. Okay, so what should I do? To calculate the probability of getting a jack of spades from these 52 cards and I cannot say that it is biased because there is yes there is different jack but then it is of different suit and different color. So this experiment is again not biased and has equally likely outcomes. So to get a black jack from these set of 52 cards what is the probability? Number of outcomes favorable to get a black jack or a jack of spades is equal to 1 and total number of outcomes is 52 so it becomes 1 upon 52. Now we have to see if it satisfies the sum of probabilities rule. Each card will have 1 upon 52 so we will add all these cards and it will make, make up to 1 
and again 1 upon 52 is between 0 to 1. So, it is definitely going to satisfy the rule that we already discussed. So, that is it for today. Hope you have liked this session. You can also now check out our courses available on our website www.letstude.com. If you want more such sessions, then do subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep watching, keep learning.